brightest day. And blackest night. No evil shall escape my sight. Let those who worship evil's might beware my power. Green Lantern's light! Hey guys, it's Star Sky, and this video is going to be about which mods to stick in your red, yellow, and blue sockets for controllers. Now, the whole aim of the mods that we want to do is that we want to try and put as much vitalization in our mods as we can while still getting our affinities. So, in total there is four yellow, two red, and two blue sockets. So, our primary um, socket color for controller is the yellow. And for the yellow sockets, which is your hands, waist, feet, and back, they're all yellow. And what we want to do with those mods is that we want to try and we want to stick in pure vitalization. Now, whatever tier your gear is, tier one, tier two, tier three, or in between, you want to stick the irrelevant uh, tier mod in your gear. Since I'm tier four, I use vitalization four which has increased my vitalization by 19. So, I've stuck in vitalization for my back, waist, feet, and hands. Okay, so now let's move on to the blue socket. Now for this mod still, since it's blue, but we still want to put vitalization somehow into the mod, the best one to go for it would be vitalization and dominance. Since dominance is the blue color, we want to go we want to have the dominance instead of the health. So we go vitalization and dominance. Because some of our shields will work with extra dominance and our debuffs and uh, power of time last longer to do with how much dominance we have as well. So for both blue sockets we both put we put vitalization and dominance in it, which will be a green exabyte, which is a mixture of the yellow and the blue together, so it can fit straight in the blue socket. Okay, so let's go straight to the red socket then. And in the red socket, I have put in vitalization and precision. Now like the blue socket, we can't just stick a pure yellow in it because then we wouldn't get the affinity to do with the armor. So what we want to do is we want to put a vitalization in it now, but we still have to try and find a way of um, making it go into a red socket so we get the affinity. So what we do is we go in um, a vitalization and precision. Now the reason why we use precision instead of might force because most of our power regen comes from a weapon combo, and we most and we only time we ever use um, our powers is for doing power of time or for literally debuffing. We're not really there to do damage. So with a weapon, we'll be regen regenerating. We'll be doing combos to regenerate our own power, and with the more precision we have, we'll be able to do that bit more damage with our weapon. So that's what we use in both the red sockets. So whatever you do, try and stick the correct color in the sockets so you can use all the correct affinities. What you do not want to do is you do not want to stick pure yellow in your sock in all of the sockets. Cuz that way if you did that you'd be missing out on critical power magnitude, critical power chance, another critical power magnitude, and another critical power chance. So as you can see, this is pretty much how I've modded my gear, and this will allow me to have the maximum vitalization I have for my gear. Now also it's always handy to use a vitamin soda to increase your vitalization just so you can give that higher much parts and regen that much more power. 
So if you can, always try and use vitamin sodas as well. And just in case, always try and get yourself a spammable trinket like the one from Foss or maybe the one from Central City or you can maybe get one from an event you could use which will give you an extra certain amount of vitalization for like 20 seconds. So I think that pretty much covers which mods to use for your controller gear and which trinkets are useful and also recommend on sodas. So I hope this answers your questions. So until next time guys, thanks for watching. Oh, <laughs>